Hello, it's time for Tips and Tricks again with Lynn Allen, and today we're going to talk about a very cool tool which is very helpful if you've ever wanted to take an existing set of layer names that exist in a drawing and translate to a different set of layer names. This particular command is called the Lay Trans command, and you can get to it easily enough by going to the Tools pull-down menu, going over to CAD Standards, and selecting Layer Translator. But you didn't even know that was in there. Very, very powerful tool. In this dialog box, you'll see in the left-hand side of the screen, is a listing of all my layers. Now, this happens to be a microstation drawing, and all the layers are numbered. Now, in AutoCAD, of course, we'd like to have our layers assigned to names that make sense to us. So this is a very powerful tool for those of you who are working with microstation drawings. On the left-hand side of the screen, like I said, this is all the the layers that exist in this drawing. So I'm going to go grab a drawing that has the layer names I want to map these layers to. To do that, I just hit load. I go grab the appropriate drawing. And this one happens to be called MKM Plan. This has all the, the layers I'm really after. And then it's simply a matter of selecting the layer on the left. In this case, layer number one. I like that to be assigned to S, Anno, Dims, and you hit map. As you go through here and you map the layers, I'm just going to arbitrarily select them, you will see that it gives you a listing of the changes that you've made, the layers that you've mapped. You can go through here very simply. If you're in a situation where you might have some duplicate, maybe on the left-hand side, you have in the drawing that you're in, you have some layer names that also exist in the other drawing that you brought in to translate to, it's simply a matter of hitting the Map Same option. It'll, that'll do some of the work for you so you don't have to physically map them yourself. So this does take a little bit of work up front. When, you're, when you've got everything mapped, though, you can save this out to a file. And the next time you bring it in, it will automatically be mapped for you. And that's going to save you a ton of time in the long run. Before we go out of here, I want to show you the very nice option here underneath Settings. This is going to help you also in the translation process. I love these options. Look at this. Force the object color to buy layer or the line type to buy layer. Think how much time that could save you just in any ordinary everyday drawing. Um, if you have blocks, you want to take a look at the objects that exist inside of the blocks and the layers that go with those blocks. You can hit Translate Objects in Blocks. And I love this option, which is off by default, Show Layer Contents when selected. This is going to help you make sure that you're mapping the proper layer um, on the left over to the right one, on the, the correct one on the right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is very similar to the layer walk tool, which many of you are familiar with. No, notice as I go through here, it's showing me all of the all of the objects that are on the layers that I'm selecting. Right as I go through here, very very powerful. So it's kind of like like I said, the express tool layer walk, which is one of my favorite express tools. So once again, when you're finished. You're going to hit Translate. You're going to want to save these settings. If it's something you're going to use over and over again, you'll hit Save. It's going to allow you to save that out to another standards file, a file that has an extension of DWS, which I talk about in another Tips and Tricks session. And uh, when you're finished, once again, you hit Translate, and then all the layers on the left will get mapped to the ones that you've assigned on the right, and then we all live happily ever after. So I think you're going to find this tool very, very powerful. I want you to think outside of the box. Think about the things you could do with this. And I also want you to enjoy the rest of your work week. Thank you for joining me. This is Lynn Allen.